On one of my last videos, I showed you exactly how to identify the Liberty Cat Mushroom, but one repeat thing came up in the comments. You guys wanted to know a little bit more about some of the lookalikes, how to tell them apart from the Liberty Cat itself, and more details on the lookalikes themselves. In today's video, I'm going to be going through my top three lookalikes that you might get confused with Liberty Caps. Let's get into it. So guys, just a very, very quick run-through recap of Liberty Cap identification, and then we'll move on to the lookalikes. Liberty Caps will have a conical-shaped cap that can differ between ivory, cream colour, and a darker brown here, as you see, when it's wet. They can also have striations to the caps, which are these little lines shown here underneath the gel membrane. Here's a dark one and a light one for comparison, but you'll always find a pronounced nipple, as shown in this clip here. It's got a pronounced nipple, a wavy stem, and the stems are going to be cream. With that being said, let's jump straight into my top three lookalikes. So mushroom number one is the dung roundhead. So our first lookalike is the dung roundhead, this slippery little bastard here. It is absolutely gross and covered in slime. So this is Protostrophaeria semiglobita, and it is essentially the dung roundhead. It grows in dung, it's very light to the colour, and as I said in the previous video, Liberty Caps should only really be this colour if they're bone dry. You've also got lighter gills, they're quite often like a light purple. In this case it's almost beigey pale. And again you've got that horrible mucus gel on the top. So Liberty Caps will never be this colour if they're that slimy and wet. If they're that slimy and wet, they'll normally be a brown colour. And the stipe as well can sometimes have a little bit of a skirt on these. It's just indicated there. So the tiny little skirt there that you can just see. And also the stems are very brittle and fragile and will break under pressure. Whereas Liberty Caps, you can wind around your finger and it won't break. So these half globe mushrooms are listed as edible but unpalatable. You wouldn't really want to eat it, it's not going to taste very nice. It's not worth picking or harvesting. Let's run through some of the characteristics of the dung roundhead directly compared to Liberty Caps. So Liberty Caps will have a conical sort of bonnet shaped cap. Whereas the dung roundhead will have a much, much rounder shape cap, you can see here. Dung roundheads may have a bit of a skirt attached to the top third of the stipe, whereas Liberty Caps are a completely smooth stipe. With Liberty Caps, you can wind the stem around your finger and it won't break, whereas with Dung Round Heads, it will snap quite easily like this. Dung Round Heads will never really have a nipple on the top of the cap, so you're always looking for that pronounced nipple on the top of Liberty Caps. Some cases, you might find a little bit of dimpling, but again, it's not a true pronounced nipple like with the Liberty Caps. Mushroom number two is the mower's mushroom, or haymaker's penilus. So here they are. They can be very similar to the Liberty Cap, as they've got a bit of a nipple. They're often a lot darker though. They've got pinky brown spores and gills, a brown stem, and a way more chocolate brown in colour. They also break very easily at the stem. So here's another one. As you can see, it's got a pronounced nipple. It's chocolate brown in colour, really dark brown stem. And almost like a light pink gill to it, as you can see. Chocolate dark brown stem. Almost witch hatty in shape. So these guys are listed as inedible. Definitely don't want to eat them. They're not poisonous, but again, they're just going to be very unpalatable. And you could get an upset dodgy tummy, a bit of diarrhoea, a bit of sickness. So another common name for these is mottled gills. Essentially, when you break open when you break open the gills to these mushrooms, you can get almost like a mottled effect, a little speckle to some of the gills as you break into it. And that's due to the basidium. And basidium is essentially a reproductive sporing system. So I'll put an overlay now of a diagram indicating exactly what I mean by that basidium. Essentially, the walls of the gills have this kind of hair-like structure and the basidium clings to the spores themselves. In this diagram it shows how the gill walls have these almost like hairs called basidium and that attaches itself to the spore. So just the indirect distribution 
of those can give a bit of a speckled effect. And mushroom number three is of course the petticoat, also in the Penelis family. So this is in the Penelis family and is the petticoat. It's much longer than a Liberty cap, as you can see. Really, really dark stem. And it almost has these little nibs on the skirt that you can just see there, the little white nibs. Here's another example. No pronounced nipple and those clear white nibs around the around the petticoat. Way darker stem. Liberty cap stems are not going to be this dark. So some of the things that I've found with novice foragers in general, not just with Liberty caps, but just in general foraging for mushrooms, is a lot of newbies tend to think that, say, two or three mushrooms across a field that they've found are all different mushrooms entirely, different genus, different species. Quite often they're exactly the same. They just have different characteristics. Some are more mature, some are smaller, some have differing speckles or scarring a lot of people will think oh they must be different because they look different so it's about knowing enough of the characteristics about that specific one mushroom and then knowing how they're going to differ throughout its life cycle so here's a good example of what i was talking about where you've got two of the exact same mushroom these are both parasol mushrooms and will open out to look like your standard mature parasol mushroom exactly the same mushroom but a lot of people will think that they're completely different based on size and appearance. This one's got more scales, this one hasn't. Here's another one. So all three of these are exactly the same mushroom, but a lot of people would say that they're different. But a lot of the suggestions as well in the last video was to try and directly compare the three lookalikes that I'm speaking about today directly with the Liberty Cap. What I will do is try and get as close up as I can so that you guys can see the differences. Please appreciate that obviously I can only take the lookalikes out of the ground but I will try and bring you as close a look with all of the mushrooms that I find today. So here are my three lookalikes up against the Liberty Cap here. You can see every single one of them is a different colour. So although a lot of newbies do get confused, I really don't think there's much in it when it comes to comparison. Liberty Caps are such a different colour. When they're really wet, they can be darker as you can see here. So the cap, the cap colour is quite similar, I guess. But this guy's got a pronounced nipple on the right. This guy hasn't. This guy's got a dark chocolate brown stem, whereas the Liberty Cap has got a cream stem. If I lay them down here, you can see completely different cap shape, completely different stem shape, different stem colours, different cap colours. Gills on this, very brown. Gills on this are going to be more purple. As you can see and then when compared to these lighter colored ones that are a bit drier you can definitely tell that this petticoat is not a liberty cap now on to the dung round head so again a little bit more similar in color but no pronounced nipple way more of a round cap than these guys these guys are much more conical and have that nipple they've also got the striations these little lines that go down the cap and the gel membrane whereas with this although it's jelly and slimy it's the wrong color when it is wet and slimy whereas this guy will only be that color ivory cream if it's absolutely bone dry much drier than this one here and then last of all for the comparison this one does have a nipple this is the mowers mushroom this is the penelis phonosecii which is the mowers mushroom and again, directly compared to these Liberty Caps here, wrong colour, far darker, the stem, there's the example of the stems together, the stem breaks easy, and it's also chocolate brown, whereas these guys will have a much, much lighter stem to them. Look at this absolute haul. They are absolutely everywhere. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Wow, nearly 30 mushrooms in that space right there. That's insane. So, not one on my list today, but here's another lookalike, the Mycena, which is a common bonnet. And again, the gills are very translucent on these. There's a couple in here, you can just see in their cap appearance, but again, stem breaks, they're too translucent and they don't dry the same, but they've also got white gills instead of purpley brown gills. So that's your dead giveaway for those ones. I've been absolutely overwhelmed by how well received that video has been. So thank you very much to subscribers, new and old, all the people that viewed and commented. Thank you so much, it really means a lot to me. Neither a lib nor a lookalike, but just look how pretty the colors are on this wax cap. Absolutely gorgeous. You never know what you're gonna find out here. So I hope that's been informative for you guys. Hopefully you've learned a little bit more about the, uh, the tricks and tips, more of the ID, signs that you can go through to eliminate your lookalikes from your liberty caps that's the end of the video guys if you have liked it at any point give it a little like below don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next week